Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater and today I'm going to talk to you about citing using APA style. In this video we're going to talk about creating a reference list and building in-text citations. There are other videos for creating citations for books, articles, and websites, the three sources you're most likely to use during your time here at UW-Whitewater. It's important that you give credit to others for the work that they've done so you can avoid plagiarism. Not doing so, intentionally or not, is misrepresenting your own work and may result in serious academic and legal ramifications. Once you have all of your citations, you can create your reference list, which will go at the end of your paper. You want to make sure your references are in alphabetical order and that they each have a hanging indent so that the first line of each citation is longer than the subsequent lines. Your reference list should also be double spaced. The top of your page should say references. In addition to citing your sources at the end of your paper, you'll also need to cite them throughout your paper. In order to do this, you need the author names, the date, and the page number for the source you're citing. Notice that before the page number, I just have the letter P. For the Direct Marketing Association, I added DMA in brackets so that each subsequent time I cite this source, I can just use DMA in my in-text citation. For documents without pages, you can indicate paragraph number by using P-A-R-A -A period. This page contains some other useful sources you might want to check out if you get stuck as you're creating your citations. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about citing sources using APA style.